Hey guys, what's up? This is me Pranay and you're watching Techno Master. So guys, today in this video, I'm gonna compare uh, Vivo T3 5G with the iQ Z9 5G. So if you know the specifications, you might be wondering that what is the difference between these two devices because we have got exactly, uh, almost same I would say, specifications on both of them. So let's find out what is the difference between these two ones and uh, so please watch this video till the end and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel then hit that subscribe button and then press the bell notification icon so that you people will get notified whenever i upload a new video in this particular channel <coughs> so guys let's quickly get started so let's start with the display so we have got exactly same display for both which is a 6.67 inches panel which is a 120 hertz panel and this is a AMOLED display and uh, comes with 1800 nits peak brightness and 360 hertz of touch sampling rate and uh, we have got DT glass protection and this is HDR10 plus display on both of them and in terms of chipset guys we have got again we have got exactly same chipset for both which is a mediatek dimensity 2.8 gigahertz 7200 chipset and this is a 4 nanometer based chipset and comes with mali uh, g57 gpu <coughs> now yeah, in the ram and rom options we have got exactly same again uh, 8 gb ram with 128 gb storage and 8 gb ram with 256 gb storage options ufs 2.2 storage and in uh, the Android version we have got Android 14 on both of them out of the box with their respective UIs on the top Now in terms of camera department guys here comes a little difference uh, As we know the Vivo T3 comes with triple rear setup and whereas iQ comes with dual rear setup So we have got same camera sensors, but uh, we have one more sensor on Vivo So let's talk about the camera so both of them comes with same uh, 50 MP aperture f1.79 sensor which is a Sony IMX882 sensor and uh, we have got a secondary 2 MP depth sensor on both of them and uh, in vivo we have got a flicker sensor as well so that is the difference here and in terms of front sensor we have got exactly same 16 MP f2.0 front camera on both of them in terms of IP rating we have IP58 uh, rating on both now in terms of guys the fingerprint sensor we have in display fingerprint scanner on both of them and in terms of battery also we have got same battery capacity 5000 mAh with 44 watt fast charging support on both of them now guys coming to the pricing so again the pricing is also same which is starting at rupees uh, 19,999 which is 20,000 Indian rupees so and uh, now let's jump to the conclusion my opinion which device to choose so <clears throat> in last I want to say that uh, it's a brand specific opinion like uh, if you want to uh, if you want a vivo smartphone that I would suggest you to go with the vivo because vivo brand name is much bigger so that is why I would suggest you to go with the vivo uh, T3 because uh, we have also have one advantage of extra sensor so that is why I would suggest you to go with the vivo T3 because of the brand name and the design is also I would say better so thanks for watching if any questions just drop your question in the comment section below guys and make sure that you like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel to get more such videos in future thank you